I'm going to show you how to design, build, and launch an entire AI-powered application with two free tools from Google, that is Stitch and Google AI Studio. We really live in the day and age of if you have the idea of an application, you can build it. Google AI Studio makes building applications, in my opinion, a lot easier than a Bolt or Lovable.dev because it naturally integrates Google's greatest technologies like Nano Banana, Gemini 2.5, and any other of the AI models that you like them to use. I'm gonna show you first the application that I built, and then I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how I use Stitch to design it, and then how I simply just gave everything to Google AI Studio, plus the explanation of how it should work, and it did it in a matter of seconds. So this is a application that I would hand over, I would sell to real estate managers and property managers. For example, they often get terrible images that they need to place into their websites for the property management. So I'm going to drop the images there and you can see they are terrible images. The idea here is when I click start analysis, the AI is going to analyze the image. It's not going to change them first, but it's going to suggest the recommendations of the edits that should happen to that image. So this one, for example, it re recommended to remove the boarded windows and the doors, enhance the grass, exterior cleaning and repair perfect and then brighten and the color correction I can choose to enable or disable that recommendation or I can add my own uh, edit or recommendation to that let's say this one here which is a pretty bad one brighten the image color correction let's not enhance the window it's not repair and the floor enhancement but you see this green wall let's change the green wall to a white wall, for example, and I can add my own recommendation in there. This one here, brighten image, color correction, messy room. There's no personal items here, and I'm just going to say, change the old couches to modern couches. Nice and easy, I'm gonna leave the rest as it is. You don't wanna change too much of the property, otherwise I think you are misrepresenting what it is. This one here, clean the messy room, remove all personal items clean all the items from the floor, including the shoes, the guitar, the teddy bear, make sure there's nothing on the floor and remove the towel that is hanging in the back, right? So we are making sure that these images are correct for the property. I'm gonna approve the changes here. With all the images approved, I'm gonna go to process images. And in a few seconds, I have a little slider that I can see the before and after of the image to make sure that the change isn't too dramatic. So it's done it with a house, it's done it with a green door that I wanted, and even provided me the modern couches here, which is perfect, just what I wanted. If I can, if I want to re-edit an image, it's nice and easy. I have all the images at the bottom here. I can click that one, re-edit the image, and go through the process, but just for that image alone incredible and I can even launch this application and start selling it. So how did I build this? Well, it all starts with Stitch. Sign up to Stitch, it's completely free. It is in beta, but my goodness, is it powerful. I've got a prompt here that I've already done. So I prepared this earlier and it essentially, it says, I want to design an application for real estate agents and property managers. It will help them edit the images that they've been provided by the owners to be touched up. And I've explained the whole work through in terms of step-by-steps. Now I'm gonna hit go here. I'm gonna recreate the entire application, but I'm gonna change the look and feel of it so you know that it's different so we can build this thing together. While this is building the application out, we can actually download the code of the steps that it gives you. And those are the code sets that we're going to give to Google AI Studio and say, build this, but add this following functionality. It's really quite simple. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, you can see the first design that it came up with. It's already a different design and a different feel already. So upload your property photos, processing images, perfect. And then... Okay, enhance, approve. Okay, so here it's kind of misunderstood, but perhaps I didn't really explain it correctly where it's already going to enhance the image here. And I wanted to say that is in this step, it should recommend the enhancements below the image that I can check and go and do that. And the other one is fine. So let's see here. I'm going to select the section that I want to amend because for this instance, it's just that not all of them at the same time. And you can see that the selection changes in the box as well, indicating that yeah, which is changing this section here. So I want to say in this section, I should only see the original image and below the original image, there should be some recommendations on the edits that the image needs. If it's a 
image of a the outside of a house where the grass is has not been cut or it's not green, the recommendation should be to enhance the grass. Or if it's an untidy room, the recommendation should be tidy up the room. Anything that's going to enhance the quality of the image to upload it so that it looks still natural but enticing when uploaded to the property image. Only in the next step should we see the enhanced image. And I think the best thing that I like about this is that it's so natural that I can just speak the changes that I want. And when it does that, it's always going to keep the original one here and it should build the next one right here. So then you can pick and choose which variation you want. Now let's take a look at the recommendation that it gave us with a new design. So perfect original image. Nice, actually, I, I like this design a little bit better. Reject or approve, fantastic. So one thing here that I want as well, I want to add a section where I can manually type in my own recommendations and add them in there as well. So let's see if I can do that. Below the AI recommendations, I should be able to add manually my own recommendations and save them so that for the next step, the AI takes my recommendations for the edit into consideration. I'm going to approve that one. Now, here's the re-edited version and it hasn't quite changed it as I want, but that's okay. I want to show you one other functionality here that we can change. So let's say I want to kind of edit just certain aspects of it. What they've done is something really cool. If I've got the image selected, so the section of the application, I can click on this icon here to annotate. So I can say, for example, I can describe this section in here and I can say change change this to the pencil icon and I can around this section only make sure that I'm pointing to here I'm going to annotate here and say change the wording to edit images perfect and now I can apply this and that recommendation will go instantly to the chat part which is modify this screen applying the annotation to which we've just told it and again, it's given me another version just below so I can kind of decide which one I want to use or not. Okay, now looking at all the designs, I've got one that I think I like, this one here. And fantastic. I'm going to delete the other ones just so I don't get too confused. And then I just got to replace this one with this section here. So now if you like the flow of your application, all you got to do is download each section by step by step. So this one, I'm going to click the three dots and I'm going to go download. And I recommend you start building a folder in your website, in your computer, sorry, where you name these. So this one, I'm going to name, for example, a step one, so that when I'm giving all this to Google AI Studio, it understands that that section is step one, the other one is step two, so on and so forth. So I'm going to download all these other ones, just like I've told you before, and show you how you work all this together in Google AI Studio. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to Google AI Studio and in the home page, you're going to go Vibe Code Gen AI Enabled Applications. You're going to click on that. And it's really important here that you want to select the AIs that you want in your app. So I'm going to go Nano Banana, which is really needed for this. I'm going to also say Gemini Intelligence because why not? And then there's one more that I want here, which is Analyze the Images. So I want that. AI power in my application. And then I describe the idea. But before I do that, you can see that I just want to show you the file structure that I've got step one. So when you download those folders from Stitch, it gives you this file of the HTML and the screenshot as well. So you want to name them appropriately. They're not going to be named step one, step two, but I've named that one like that. And for example, step two. I need to place in that one there. I'll name that one the HTML file and the screen file step three as well. Perfect. Great. And now I need to describe the entire application. Now, again, I've got all the prompt here. I just want to go with it. Perfect. That should be all done. So actually you just want to describe in as much detail as you possibly can in, in terms of how the application is going to work. And then you're simply going to click build. This is going to take a little while, but you see it thinking and understanding how the app's going to work before you can see and test out the first iteration. Okay. And in 
a matter of minutes. It didn't take too long. It thought for 32 seconds, it built for another two minutes. I've got the first version of the app. So let's see, it drop and drag the images there. I'm gonna drag the images that I've got here and see what happens. So, okay, perfect. It's already processing the images right away. Uh, and I can start editing and here, okay. It's telling me digitally remove the bordered windows. Yep, green and manicured dry windows, perfect. Clean and brighten the house. I'm going to remove that one. Might have to fix that one. Oh no, I approve. I see what it's done. Perfect. That's actually quite nice. Nice. And then I can change the images here. Ah, cool. Okay, perfect. Remove all the clutter for the bins for the floor. Yep. Brian enhance. Yeah, correct. I'm going to not approve that one. And I'm going to say here, for example, change the green wall to a white wall. Perfect. This one, brand the room, clean up the stained carpets, correct the curtains, remove, sure. And I also want to say change the couches to modern couches. And I'm going to approve all in these ones here. And the room, I'm going to approve that one, that one, and that one. I'm going to generate edited images. Let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. So it did not work at all. Let's see now. Let's just go, this happens all the time. So I'm going to say here, when I try to edit the images with all of the recommendations, it says that it can't fulfill the request. Can you please fix? And you can notice that even before I hit enter there, it's almost saying auto fix. So eight errors running in the code. I'm actually not going to say my prompt and I'm gonna say auto fix and see if it fixes it. So close. Okay, let's see if now it works with the enhancements that, or the fixes rather that Google did on its own. I'm going to go to this image here again. Let's just approve all, maybe. I'm gonna do the overall, remove all the bins from the room, spinning wheel. Yes, approve all, delete that one. Bad image here of the couches. Yes, perfect. And I'm gonna add one more here, change the couches to modern couches. And then in this one here, I'm just going to approve all and let's try the second time around. Now, reading some of the messages, I realized that I've been using this all day. So, so the free usage of Nano Banana is probably done. So all I got to do is make sure that I place in my own API key. So I'm going to switch to an API key. You can set a new project for this, but I'm going to search real estate enhancer and that automatically creates or attaches the API key there. If you don't have an API key, you can create a new one here, but I'm gonna go, go done. And now I'm gonna see if this will work this time around. So again, I'm just gonna analyze them. Now start editing, and then I'm just gonna approve all for the video so that we're not waiting around too much. Generate edited images. And you can see it's giving me the preview slider of what it looked like before and after, just so I can kind of see that there's no drastic changes. It's still the actual property. So that one's working fine. That one's working fine. Perfect, it cleaned everything up, incredible. And one more, it usually has some trouble with the very cluttered room. I think it might have the same thing here. Perfect, so that's okay. I just need to fix that one, but so, I think it actually built it correct from the first go. It, I just ran out of API credits because I've been building and trying this whole thing out the, the whole time. So now what happens? Well, if I want to, I can launch and deploy this application. I need to set up a cloud project and it walks you through the step-by-step -step guide. I can deploy the app. You can see here, the app will be accessible by a public URL. Your API key will not be exposed, but used by the application. So you need to keep that in mind. So now I can click on the locally or on the publicly available URL, and let's test out an application out in the real world, let's say, or that is accessible to everyone. Perfect, so let's analyze the images. Let's start editing the images. Nice, I'm just going to approve all, approve all. Perfect, this one as well. Again, I'm just gonna say, change the old couches to new couches. Perfect, and the bad room here, yeah. Ensure there is absolutely nothing, no clutters on the ground, no shoes, no socks, no clothes, and remove the purple towel at the back as well as the guitar. I'm gonna approve all here, and I'm going to generate the images, and let's see if it happens. Now remember, this application is, live, it's accessible, 
publicly to everyone. And essentially I could already give this to a property manager and say, hey, here's your first iteration and have them on a retainer for using their dedicated application. And if they want to edit it, well, you've seen how easy this thing is to edit. And again, I see the preview here, which works fine. Amazing. This one as well this image as well. So it hasn't changed the aspect ratio, anything of the room. It's just cleaned the image up just like I want it. And again, it's removed the guitar, but that's it. I got to print it a little bit better. But now you can see how within a couple of minutes, I went from design to build to publish an AI powered application and I don't know how to code and I can start selling this to people relatively easy. You can even add payment options in this application. Perhaps that's for another video, but yeah, it is that good. Now, it's one thing building an application. If you want to start marketing this, one of the most effective ways to do this is by SEO, getting organic traffic to your website. And if you want to learn how to do that with AI tools and in a way that works in 2025, so you start getting mentioned in the AI search engines, you watch this video. It's a three hour long SEO tutorial. I know it's a lot, but SEO can get complex, but it takes you from beginner to expert in terms of SEO. So you'll be able to start getting your own organic traffic to the application that you just built and start making some nice little side income. Thanks for watching. Cheers.